AF. We're on the move. Back with another one. First and foremost, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. So each and every time a new video is dropped, you guys are notified. So if you guys are new to the channel, what we do on the channel here is we do reviews of products. I help you find ammo, anything 2A related. That's what we do on the channel. So today, if everybody watching my channels know, I love my little top five list. But now we're going to switch the top five list around a little bit. And instead of me telling you where to best, find the best ammo or the best deals, I'm going to do it the opposite in reverse. What are the top five worst places to buy ammo? You know, I always tell you guys where to find it at. And I'm going to tell you where never in your darkest, worst dreams you should ever buy ammo from these places. All right. So at number five, the number five worst place you shouldn't buy ammo, social media. If you're on Instagram, Facebook Messenger, and all of a sudden you get a message with a guy and he's sending you pictures of crates of ammo and pallets of ammo. He says he has the ammo. He tells you the only cash he accepts is cash app uh, for whatever reason. I don't know why somebody would only take cash app. That's probably not a deal you want to make. All right. Unless you want to be in a cell with a Nigerian uh, bald headed Nigerian guy shaking your ass for dollars with a guy named Matt BC then that's probably not a deal you're going to make. You're probably going to get ripped off. So social media guys, do not buy ammo off social media. Make sure you buy it from a reputable place. Make sure that you vet it. Make sure it's a website that you know. Uh, check with your friends, check online, search for reviews, whatever you need to do to make sure it's a reputable source. So do not buy ammo from social media. It's probably a bad idea, all right? Number four, the number four worst place to buy ammo, gun stores specifically mom and pop stores now for everybody watch the channels don't get upset with me I support mom and pop gun stores I love mom and pop gun stores however when you go to mom and pop gun store you ever notice that when they have the ammo sitting there and then you start asking about ammo you ever see that the salesperson the owner he gets really excited all of a sudden his eyes light up and he his skin starts to glow when he hands you this dusty ass box of ammo from 1962 uh, for double the price that's going anywhere else, and he sells it to you and he's telling you, oh, he gave you two or three boxes. Uh, there's a reason for it. It's because he's robbing you, okay? There's no anywhere you should buy a 50 round box of 9mm for, for, for $36. I mean, there's no reason in this time to do it. Never has been a reason to do it. And I wouldn't do it. So, mom and pop gun stores, I love y'all. But for the ammo, man, you guys are doing ripoffs, man. Don't do it. All right, that's number four. Number three, I think everybody should know this one, but we're gonna talk about it anyway. Gun ranges. We all wanna to go to the gun range, we wanna plink plink, we wanna shoot our toys. Fine, that's what we wanna do. Before you get there, make sure you got all your ammo. If you get there and you don't have the right ammo for a certain gun, you know what? Maybe don't shoot that gun that day, because I'm gonna tell you right now, why in the blue hell would you trust buying ammo for a person that recycles the brands that you shoot and sells it back to you for double the price. Uh, probably not the best person to buy ammo from. Don't do it. These guys are doing ripoffs. They make money off the ammo. They don't make much money off anything else. They make a ridiculous amount of money off the ammo. Oh, they got, excuse me, I got all kinds of stuff going on in the background. This is unedited. So you never want to buy from a, a, a range, man. They stay trying to rip people off. Don't do it. Not a good idea. Number two, the neighborhood gunsmith. Right? We always got a neighborhood guy who does reloads, has all these rounds of ammo and Ziploc bags, tell you he knows how to load ammo, he's the best, he can do it all, he can do it all. The guy that's probably going to blow your whole block up. You probably don't want to buy ammo from a guy that's making ammo next door in his basement. I'm not saying his rounds aren't good, I'm not saying they're bad, but uh, for quality control purposes, uh, you probably don't want to buy ammo from some random dude that's loaded ammo he might load it hot next thing you know you blow your gun up and your eyes are gone your hands are gone who, who, who the hell knows right don't buy it from the neighborhood guy not good and the number one worst place to buy ammo and no one should be surprised by what i'm about to tell y'all right it's no secret cheaper than dirt.com you dirty dirty bastards let me tell you about cheaper than dirt.com no matter any time there's something going on in the gun community and we're, we're in peril, we need help, we're in trouble, we need ammo, guns and shortage, whatever they do, they take advantage each and every time. I saw these rat bastards during the ammo shortage with a 9mm box of ammo, 50 rounds, for like $75. Who in the hell does that? 
Like, first of all, who does that? Second of all, what consumer is buying this for $75? Is it posted for $75? I guarantee you somebody's buying it for $75. These guys are the worst company I've ever seen in my life, along with Dick Sports and all the other ones. Just like Dick Sports reported the other day that um, they lost $250 million in revenue from Stop Selling Guns. Yeah, screw you guys. That's what you, you get what you deserve. Glad you lost your revenue and you, you screwed your shareholders over. Good for you. Hope you go out of business. But cheaper than dirt.com is a special kind of stupid. This is what they do all through every pandemic you can think of through the years. They do it. The fact that they're still at business and we still spend money with them is absolutely crazy to me. I don't know how we ain't run about a business yet. So cheaper than dirt.com is my number one worst place to ever buy a box of damn ammo. Don't support these guys. I don't care what kind of sale they got going on. I don't care if they was giving away ammo for $2 a box. I wouldn't buy it. And that's facts, man. AF, we on the move. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, so each and every time a video come, man, you guys are notified. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. AF, we on the move. I'll see y'all next time.